If you're applying to jobs, here's something you need to know. Companies are eager to use gendered AI to filter candidates, but Bloomberg found that OpenAI's GPT discriminates against names when ranking resumes. Inspired by landmark studies, Bloomberg conducted an experiment. We came up with 800 demographically distinct names from public records and randomly assigned them to equally qualified resumes. We then prompted GPT 3.5 to rank the resumes for a financial analyst job opening. Doing this once doesn't show bias, so we repeated this thousands of times. If GPT was fair, each group would be ranked at the top equally, one eighth of the time. Instead, names distinct to black Americans were the least likely to be top ranked. Adverse impact is a standard used to test hiring practices for discrimination. In our tests, the difference between groups was substantial enough to surpass benchmarks for adverse impact, including each of the four jobs that we tested for. GPT's bias varies. For example, GPT preferred names distinct to women for an HR role, adhering to stereotypes. Why does this happen? OpenAI uses embeddings, a way to represent each word numerically based on how they're used in natural language. Names from the same racial and ethnic groups clustered together in OpenAI's embeddings. Bloomberg's analysis shows that for GPT, a name alone is enough to lead to racialized outcomes.